Hey guys, thanks for coming back to see our Bronco build. We're finally on to the interior, I guess we'll say chapters. So these are gonna be multiple videos. Andrew here is gonna do all the work. Andrew does a lot of stuff around us for the garage. He also films most of our videos now and edits pretty much everything at this point. Um, loves cars, has multiple cars himself, multiple builds going. So he's gonna take over the interior on this Bronco and take you through this whole process as he does the work. Sam and I are gonna pop in from time to time. We've sourced all the parts. I'm sure there's plenty of more things we're gonna have to buy throughout this process. I'm gonna let him take you through some of the gross stuff he's already found. So uh, it's pretty nasty. It sat outside <laughs> for a while. Um, there's definitely some water marks and some, some stains going on. Found some old M&Ms, some leftovers. Somebody was saving for later. Ugh. Oh, that's, that's pretty gross. gross. You got your work cut out for you. This is, um, everything about it is nasty in here. And so I know it's not gonna smell better until everything comes out. What all are we doing? Like what's going back in here in the floor? Everything's coming out of here. Um, the floor is gonna get prepped and primed and cleaned up. Uh, black carpet, seats are getting redone in the back. Uh, the front seats, there's new seats entirely. All the plastic trim's getting painted black. Uh, it's gonna be all blacked out in here. Everything's gonna be redone. It won't smell bad anymore. No more stains, so. Headliner. Yeah, the headliner's gonna be done. A couple rust spots will have to be prepped up a little bit from where the water got in, but. We have new all black door cards. Those bolts aren't coming out really, easy, Andrew. Yeah. It's not a good sign. This is disgusting. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of dirty stuff has been carried back here. Um, as Andrew mentioned, we'll get a new cover for that back seat to match it up with the black theme we got. All the metal hardware anywhere it's exposed will be painted black. I hate to spend the money on seat belts, because they're expensive as crap, but they're probably just gonna have to bite the bullet. But right now, you got carpet, and I hate this for Andrew. Oh. So the, the matting or the mat behind it is supposed to be stuck to the carpet. It's coming off in some places. You got a little rust going. So a lot of prep work under here. He's gonna show you that process as he pulls all this stuff out take you through the whole process in multiple videos not sure exactly how many will be for interior but you're gonna get to see the whole process of this thing going to where it is really nice to drive from that front seat really nice to be a passenger in here I'm sure we'll do some type of sound system as well in this series I've already got the center console out working on the front seats right now <laughs> Get the seat belt deals out, get the back seat out, and see if we can get this carpet pulled out of here. Oh man. Dude, I am all up in the nasty M&Ms. This is what I was talking about when I was talking about the rusted bolts being a pain. Two out of four out. Pop the other two out real quick. I say real quick. Quick for y'all. And uh, the other front seat will be done. Oh man. Well, that one came out pretty quick, but only half of it came out, so good stuff. We're gonna take a break from the passenger seat. These are coming out way rougher than the driver's seat did. Uh, of course, I just showed you a minute ago, I already broke the head off of one of them. Um, they're rusted pretty bad, so we'll uh, get the back seat started and go from there. Hmm. So we're running into some issues with the passenger seat trying to get it out, so I'm gonna reassess. Hmm. No nope. Having some issues getting the passenger seat out. Uh, I'm glad I'm the one that edits these. I'm having some issues getting the passenger seat out. We're gonna leave it at that and reassess, come back to it, let it s The bolts for the passenger seat are corroded and rusted pretty bad, so we're gonna pause where we're at. Real quick, I do wanna say I apologize if the camera works kinda shoddy. 
I'm usually on the other end of it, so this is all new to me. All right, we are back at it again with the infamous passenger seat. Um, let some PB blasters sit on it for a few minutes. There's only one bolt left, um, and I was informed by Sam that he does have an easy out, so if the head of the other one breaks off, so be it. Um, I'll get that handled, but we're gonna get some saw progress done today. Try to get all the seats and the carpet out. Thought I did it again. Well, now that that's taken care of, I've got way more room to work on getting the back seat out. Um, I haven't really looked at it too much. Uh, the last time I filmed, um, I kind of gave up. It was late. I was real tired. I briefly looked at the back seat and I was like, eh, I don't know about all that. Um, but looking at it now, I mean, it looks fairly straightforward. There's a few, few bolts on the back. I don't know if you can see that there too well, but... Hopefully I'll just, uh, I'll get those out and something will start wiggling loose a little bit. I don't know. We'll uh, see what happens. That'd make too much sense if they're the same size as the other seats. Those were way easier than I expected them to be. I probably didn't need the PB Blaster to be completely honest, but uh, better safe than sorry. Um, so looking at it here, looks like a couple pins you gotta pull out, a couple more bolts. And the back seat is looking like it's gonna be easier than the front seats were, so that's always good. And then after that, we'll get started on any other accessories that are blocking the carpet. So I got the little pins out that hold the seat in and it just fell on forward, so um, it's kinda out. I may have spoke too soon as far as the little things because I cannot for the life of me get these bolts to break loose. I don't know how well that shows, but they are in rough shape. So we'll uh, see what we can get done on that. Let me get this back seat out of the way. Um, but we're getting somewhere. So I got that old amp out of the way, working on getting some of this wiring out of my way a little bit. I'm still letting these sit. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to use a pretty decent sized breaker bar to get the back seat brackets out, um, cause they are on there tight. Um, got some PB sitting on these, so I'm gonna get these out. Once that stuff's out, we should be getting pretty close to getting the carpet out. So um, I'm gonna get cracking on that stuff. <laughs> take a break on the uh, brackets for the back seats and work on getting the seat belt deals out. Uh, fingers crossed are a little easier. At least then uh, I'm doing something instead of just struggling with the bolt. So we got the little seat belt deals out. Um, look, some more M&Ms. Um, they were fairly straightforward. They were kind of a pain to get out. I did actually have to use a breaker bar to break them loose. Um, and got started on the rear brackets for the back seats. And we got half of one of the bolts out, broke the head off of another one. So got three and a half bolts left to remove on those. Once we get those three and a half bolts out, we'll uh, take a look at what we got next as far as getting the rest of this stuff pulled out of here. Made some pretty solid progress. We got the rear carpet out, working on the front carpet right now. The only setback is that the rear carpet and the rear seat brackets came out at the expense of two more broken bolts. and. I definitely do, like Brad said, have my work cut out for me as far as the prep work when we get to that. I believe once I've got the carpet out, really all that's left is all of the plastic trim and headliner, seat belts. I've got all the carpet out. We're actually gonna get the dash, all the plastic, seat belts, stuff like that out in the next video and start the prep work. So 
Uh, I just wanted to get this one out for y'all. I know it's been a little bit. We got slow through the holidays and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I still work full time and um, life happens. But we'll get the rest of the interior gutted in the next one. Start prepping things up getting it cleaned up and ready for all the new stuff and uh, like Brad said earlier in this video this is going to be a several video series so um, you know a lot to come for sure as always we'll catch you in the next one peace